Okay, so back with a little bit of anatomy. Today I wanna to talk about the pec major. Pec major goes from this red line, this red section here, all the way out to this blue section on the outside. So there's two heads, there's a clavicular head, which goes from the medial portion of the clavicle here, out to, again, this blue line, and then there's a sternal head, which goes from this big red section here, which is on our sternum, but also some of our ribs, or the costal cartilages here, and again, out to this blue line, which is on the outer lip of the bicipital groove. Okay, way too technical. So this blue line. So this is an example of where the clavicular head is and then this is an example of where the sternal head is. Just to focus on the clavicular head for a minute, it really helps us with flexion of the arm and internal rotation. The pec major as a whole will help us with adduction of the arm, so adduction across the body like this, and again, internal rotation. The sternal head in particular will help us with adduction kind of in this oblique fashion down towards the opposite hip and again internal rotation. So that will be the sternal head in a shortened position whereas our clavicular head in a shortened position would be more up here like this. Okay, so in general, adduction and internal rotation are the actions of the pec major. And right now I'm actually all out of veggies so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop into the shop I'm gonna pop into Dunn's I actually have been using I'm gonna get them now for two seconds no I can't find them so what I'll do is I'll show him later on but there's this like I've been playing around with different types of dried fruits in different shops and the ones I found in Dunn's are definitely the nicest ones I've ever come across so there's this dry fruit um, basically dried berries that you get from Dunn's but I also get like a seed mixed with it so I've got like you know a little bit of sugar from the fruit and I've got loads and loads of fat from the seeds and together it makes a really nice mix and you can eat loads of it and there's loads and loads of calories in it so uh, that's kind of my new favorite snack. Some of the equipment arrived today in the gym so you've probably, you're, well no, you're gonna see me unbox that now in a little while, maybe in the next clip. Uh, I also met Kevin Walsh who is uh, a guy from Limerick. He is, I think a newly qualified personal trainer. Well yeah, he is a newly qualified personal trainer and uh, he popped into the gym to have a look around, say hello, so uh, it was nice to meet Kevin today. Next clip is going to be me and a few of the lads helping me unbox a couple of new barbells and a new something, a new something. So, see you then. Yeah, buddy. Nice one. Cool. Woohoo! This guy will be good fun. Alright, what's the crack? My hair is a mess. I definitely, definitely need a haircut. It's gone so bloody long. I think you would be. It's so long. But anyway, um, today is kind of like. Like there's days where you go woo and there's other days where you go wee and it's a wee day today because there's just like a couple of little small things that didn't go as planned today and just little things and then like you're kind of questioning everything and you're wondering uh, am I doing it, things right? You know, should I be doing this at all? Am I putting too much energy into something? Should I be putting more energy into something else? So those was kind of, or today was one of those days and like it's what quarter, it's 10 to 10 now and one thing that I really wanted to do this year was do all my workouts, have them all done before 9 o'clock. So do my workouts whilst everyone else is working out and 
the gym is closed, everybody has gone home, even you know the coaches are who normally do the workouts after hours, they're all going home as well. Um gym's been closed now for about an hour, but I'm only starting, so you know that's kind of one of the small little things that's annoying me as well. Um But I just gotta keep going, I gotta figure out, you know, am I doing things the right way? Am I being smart about things? Where do we need to put my energy and plan and then execute so uh, on an upside this should be a really good day and it is a good day we've got a new assault bike so I am gonna take a spin on that later on and I am gonna literally fall in love with that thing I'm gonna be on it literally every day I would say we did get a ton of more boxes literally just picked them up there so a lot of slam balls so this like is a 15 kilo slam ball this one here and it is like really heavy, it's hard to even get overhead. Um, we've got some yoga mats there as well. So intra workout, I'm gonna be opening these boxes and assorting those and putting them in their spot. So starting my workout. Yesterday I did uh, shoulder press with pull-ups. I did hip thrusts and I did some single leg balance work and I did some high hang, high pull. So that was my workout yesterday. Today, I'm gonna to go back to squats, RDLs, uh, bench press, and a row. Okay, so I'm gonna do squats and bench press. I'm gonna do my row and my RDLs together. Oh, and yesterday, I did go for a run yesterday. I did about half an hour run around my neighborhood. I actually put it on Snapchat. And it was like, it was an easy run, but I was dying because my lungs were really, really tight. So the air was really cold. I was struggling to breathe because I have asthma and I didn't have my inhalers and I have a sore throat. So my lungs are tight anyway. And also I did have a mask, which humidifies the air for me. So everything was against me, but I still did my runs. Uh, they were horrible. They were just really hard and I was going really, really, really slow. Uh, which is a little frustrating too. So tonight, I'm getting on that bike and I'm gonna be dying by the end of it. I know I am, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Stitch setting in right now, but I'm just about to go for round number three. 